for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So thank you guys for joining me for week two of the Pep Talk Prayer series, where I am taking excerpts from my book, Pep Talk Prayers, and you can look right here on the screen. You can click here if you don't have a copy and you can get your copy now. And I'll circle back at the end and make sure you have another chance to get it so that you can follow along through. And so this week, guys, I am talking about uh, the section called Divine Connections, okay? And the excerpt that I'm going to read is on page 41 and it's called Wonderful Reciprocity. And here's how it goes. Did you know that you can be angry at God for holding things up? but he's only doing it because of who's around you? Do you know that he is aware of the people that only want to take from you and not love you properly? He knows who wants to steal your shine and your joy. He knows who wants to dim your light. God will hold up everything you're waiting on until he knows it will be wonderfully reciprocated. Do you need to seek his face on who you're trying to connect to? They could be the reason why you're not connected to God's best for your life. This is a really, really dope thing to touch on. And let me tell you why. I think so many times in life, we genuinely mean well. I do believe that. I think human beings at their core are just good. I think that there are people who are intrinsically uh, just good-natured people. I think the media oftentimes amplifies people who are not good and it makes us feel like the world has more bad people than good people. But the point I'm trying to make here is this. I think most times, again, not everybody, but I think most times we really want to be okay around people and welcoming them and allowing other people to be around us. And I understand that they're introverts, extroverts. I get all of that. But I just mean if you take all of those labels off. I think most people enjoy peace and harmony and they don't necessarily like a bunch of craziness and foolishness going on with the people in their lives and their relationships. And what happens sometimes when you commit to God and you are walking into a season of divine connections, you have to be careful up in this space right here because what happens is God begins to vet. You may not be doing it, but I don't know if you know what that word is, but vet, not like a veterinarian, but a vet, like Basically, God will vet those people around you on a spiritual level. And you may not even know that that's what's going on. And what what it may end up looking like is while God is saying, hey, I've already vetted them for you in this season. Because sometimes it's seasonal. It might not mean forever. But sometimes God has to vet that person because you don't really have the understanding of the knowledge that, hey, if you engage this person right now, it'll be to your detriment. It's not going to be a good thing if you focus on trying to connect with this person and they are not going to add value to your life. And I will tell you something else that I have learned many, many times. I think my first example of experiencing this might have been when I was a little girl. I probably was in the one digits when I first experienced this. But let me tell you something. God will remove people from around you if he knows that their intentions are not good for you. And sometimes he will make He will make you be put out. You know, he might kick you out. He might, he might make it where you have to move away or the opportunity ended or something will just happen where he's like, listen, girl, you're not trying to do this yourself. I keep trying to give you every opportunity. I'm showing you everything and you still not doing it. He's like, son, Hey, listen, I keep telling you that this ain't it, but this is what you want. So, okay, I'm trying to stop you from that. So what I think is important about having wonderful reciprocity is that when you meet, when you are aligned with someone in a particular season and your your appreciation and how you treat each other meets it's, it's reciprocal, it really gives you an opportunity to experience the divine. That is why when you hear people talk about divine encounters, which leads to divine connections, those are often things that you will never forget for the rest of your life. So I have a question for you. How many of you have had an experience that when God was removing a person or when he was removing you, 
you were either angry or mad at God because you thought that he was doing something, you know, to hurt you. But then you realize later he was doing you a solid. Have any of you ever experienced that? Please hit the comments and tell me. I would love for you to tell me about your experience with that. And if you want to go, if you want to add a little bit of extra sauce, like actually let us know, like what epiphany did you have or what happened to, you know, let you know that, wow, I didn't see it at the time, but this is what God was doing. Like he was really trying to protect me. So yeah, let, let me know, drop it in the comments. Let me know, you know, what your experience was like with that. But, you know, let me just be clear y'all. Um, it is so important that you understand that the more you come into the realization of who God is and how good he is to us and, and what God's presence in our lives should represent, you focus less on hating people and blaming people and you focus more on being a person who when someone shows up in your life, you can meet the reciprocal. You can meet them in a place where you can be the one to exhibit the wonderful reciprocity. You want to grow so much. You want to start taking time with yourself and with God to really work on yourself so that when he does begin to present you with opportunities, with people, with these game changing connections and relationships, you don't, you don't, you don't fumble them. You don't, you don't, you know, squander them. And y'all hear me out. This is very, very important. And I'm going to say this and we out. Cause remember, this is just a pep talk prayer. I'm not going to keep y'all too long, but sometimes y'all, we fight so hard to be in somebody's life or presence in the wrong season. And you end up putting your mouth on it. You get mad. God ain't this. He, you know, why you ain't doing that? And what you're not realizing is the season might just be premature and you have to let God work things out so that you do not feel like every time you get in a situation is not reciprocated. Let me tell you something. If you get in a perpetual state of things not being reciprocated in your life, you are the common denominator. And you might not want to hear that. But listen, if everything is everybody else's fault, there's a problem. If everybody doing everything wrong, if nobody does anything to your standard, Nobody can stick around. Nobody needs to be here. That means that you are the problem. It took me a long time to realize that. When I realized that, I started to genuinely try to approach things differently. And that's hard because let me tell you something. If you don't, if you don't really have a whole bunch of context and all you're going off is your experience and your feelings, sometimes if there's no depth and you don't you don't have all of the answers, it is easy to let your mind wander into something else and then you begin to feel victim like a, a victim and you begin to feel, you know, just so hurt and so like, "Oh God, I can't believe oh woe is me." And I'm not saying that there's not a time and place for that, so don't come at me. Y'all like the tussle. That's not what I'm saying. But I believe that more often than not, we find ourselves in situation where, situations where we cannot experience wonderful reciprocity because we're far too focused on making sure that things go the way that we think they should go. And we're not paying attention to the hand and the movement and the leading of God. We get so caught up in the connection that it becomes a distraction. And when God has to reset us and say, Hey, listen, I did give you that connection, but I don't need you to tamper with it in this hour and in this season. And so he tries to disconnect you to prevent it. But then it sometimes when, again, when we're not aligned, we're not, we're not clicking with God. We can miss what he's really trying to teach us and what he's really trying to show us. So I genuinely want you to take a moment. I want you to think about the experiences that you've had where you have felt like God has removed you from a situation or he's brought somebody to your situation and you were able to experience that wonderful reciprocity. And if you can't really feel, I mean, if you can't really come up with nothing or nobody or no situation is really coming up, I want you to just take a moment. I want you to sit with God and ask him to reveal to you things that maybe you've forgotten about or things that he's trying to prepare you for. Also, let God help you to reassess your relationships and your connections because you want you want to experience the highest form of relationship that you can. The more you get closer to God, the more you have a desire for the things of God. And that's one of the wonderful blessings, that wonderful reciprocity that's connected to it.
So y'all, thank you for joining me. That was today's episode of Pep Talk Prayers. And we talked about divine connections leading to wonderful reciprocity. And y'all, the next video on Wednesday will be the ploy. You got to check that one out. Make sure you can look right here on the screen. You can jump into the Pep Talk Prayers playlist to make sure you got every episode. And you can make sure you hit the link right there on the screen and you can get your copy of the book. So I thank you guys. I appreciate you for listening and make sure you join me again. Like, subscribe, share. Oh, y'all turn on your notifications because I'm going to be popping up with a lot of material coming up and I don't want you to miss it. Okay. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.